Hello and welcome. In this video, we will look at the gold to platinum price and production ratios. Let's start with production. This is a graph of the yearly supply of gold from mining. The supply of gold from mining has been increasing over time at a slow rate. There were a few years early last decade when supply declined some, but then it reversed back and began to increase when the financial crisis hit in 2008. For the last three years, the supply of gold from mining was between 85 and 89 million ounces per year, or between 2,600 and 2,700 metric tons, which is roughly a 15% increase over the gold supply of mining during the mid-90s, when gold mining produced only about 72 million ounces, or about 2,250 metric tons. This is a graph of the yearly supply of platinum from mining. The supply from platinum mining has increased at a faster and steadier rate than gold. In the mid-90s, platinum production was about 4.7 million ounces, or 145 metric tons yearly. Production increased in the middle of last decade to about 7 million ounces, but then dropped down, and now platinum production has settled into a consistent amount of roughly 6 million ounces, or 190 metric tons yearly, for the last six years. Supply from platinum production was about 6.2 million ounces last year, an increase of over 30% from production levels during the mid-90s. So the supply of gold from mining is up roughly 15% since the mid-90s, and the yearly supply from platinum is up over 30% since the mid-90s. The supply of both platinum and gold are increasing over time, but the supply of platinum is increasing at a much higher rate than the supply of gold. This is a graph of the ratio of gold production to platinum production, obtained by dividing the yearly production of gold by the yearly production of platinum. We can see that over time, the graph is heading slightly lower as the quantity of platinum mined each year is increasing at a faster rate than the quantity of gold mined each year. There was a big decline early last decade as the production of gold leveled off and began to decline each year, while the production of platinum kept increasing. But the ratio climbed back up, and currently there is about 14 times as much gold mined as platinum mined. Let's look at the price ratio. This is a graph of the price of platinum. In the mid-90s, the price of platinum was about $400 an ounce. 2014 year-to-date, the average price is about $1,400, with today's price being between $1,200 and $1,300, which is an increase of more than three times the mid-90s price. The price of platinum has tracked the overall perception of the world economy. When it was perceived that the economy was doing well, the price of platinum rose with the increase in industrial demand, especially in automotive demand. When the economy was perceived to do poorly, the price of platinum fell. After the financial crisis, when there was talk of economic recovery, the price of platinum hit all-time highs. Since 2011, the price has been on a slow decline as the economic recovery has dragged on and on. And now with reports of manufacturing slowdowns in various parts of the world, over the last couple months, the price of platinum has dropped hard, which is not reflected on this chart. Although the price of platinum has dropped recently, long term it is still in an upward channel and the average price for 2014 is approaching the bottom of the channel. This is a graph of the price of gold. In the mid-90s, the price of gold was also about $400 an ounce like platinum. Over the next few years though, the price of gold dropped until the beginning of the financial crisis and then the price shot up over the next couple of years. The average price of gold peaked out in 2012 and has been heading down ever since. Whereas the price of platinum tends to track the overall perception of the economy, the price of gold tends to track fear and flight to safety. Gold and platinum were close to the same price in the mid-90s. The two prices separated and then rejoined in 2011 and have been fairly close to each other ever since. This is a graph of the platinum to gold price ratio using just the average yearly prices of platinum and gold including the year-to-date 2014 average. In the mid-90s, the ratio was close to 1, as both platinum and gold were close to $400, and the ratio today is close to 1, as both platinum and gold are between $1,200 and $1,300. However, at the end of last century, the price of gold dropped down about $100 to about $300, and the price of platinum rose about $100 to about $500, causing the platinum to gold ratio to rise. This continued into the beginning of last decade when the price of platinum began to increase at a steady rate while the price of gold stagnated, causing the ratio to rise up and peak out with the price of platinum just over twice the price of gold. Since the beginning of the century, the ratio has been in a downward channel. When the financial crisis hit, 
The price of gold rose while the price of platinum pulled back a bit, causing the ratio to drop, and the ratio has been in a downward trend ever since. For the last four years, gold and platinum have been fairly close to the same price, and so far this year the average price of platinum is about 10% higher than the average price of gold. So that is the platinum to gold and gold to platinum production and price ratios. It is interesting to see the price of gold close to the price of platinum when there is 14 times as much gold mined each year as platinum mined each year. I hope that you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching.